when I make these videos, let me say this first. I believe I told many people this already, but let me say it again. In the past, I used to sin a lot. I did many wrong things, so many, bad things. I was really a bad guy. And when I make these videos, I am not pointing my finger at anyone. I am not trying to make you feel terrible or condemn you or anything like that. Look, I love everyone. I want everyone to change so when you die, you can go to heaven. But if you come at me in a very crazy way, why? Why would you come at me in a crazy way, saying rude things and stuff like that? It really makes no sense. I am here to help you. If I did not care about everyone or whatever else, I would have stopped this channel because, to be quite honest, it is a lot easier to do things on my own than to try to answer people's questions and make these videos and stuff like that. So I am not pointing my finger at anyone. I want you to change. That's it. I want people to go to heaven. I don't think I am better than anyone. I am just an average guy doing average things trying to get to heaven. That's it. I don't care about prestige and all of this other stuff. No. I want this life to end as soon as possible so we can get into heaven because we live in a very cursed world. And I am not suicidal, so don't think that I am. No. The more you learn about God and stuff like that, you are going to see how terrible this life really is. So what I want to speak about is stop justifying your sins. Like I said, I used to be in sin and I did many terrible things. Let me say this too. I believe I told people this as well. Ever since I was an infant, infant from 18 I believe, my mom would take me to church from one to three days a week. Crazy stuff, man, like three days a week. Can you imagine going to church three days a week? <laughs> Crazy. And I hated church. Even though I went to church so much, I would still sin because I did not care about things of God. I really didn't. Then when I turned 18, I moved out. Or not right at 18, but probably some months after. Yes, I was 18. So, and then some years later, I started to go to church again and I was going about twice a week, but I was still in sin. I still enjoyed sinning, but I would never justify my sin. I don't think I did. So if someone asked me if I was a, if I was a Christian, I would tell them no, because I was still in sin. How can I be a Christian while being in sin? No. Now, I go to a Christian church that teaches about God, but my life, no. I was not following God. I was not serving God, so I could not call myself a Christian. Just because I go to a Christian church does not make me a Christian, because my life did not resemble as a servant of God. So how can I be a Christian? Like I said, when I was in sin, I'm like, hey, 
I am just doing me. I am just having fun, whatever. Then it got to the point where I wanted to change. So I started to examine my life and I took God more seriously. But not, I would not justify my sins. I would not say, well, you know, no one is perfect, so let me continue have sex before marriage. Let me continue to curse people out. Let me continue to be rude and everything else to people. I would not justify my sins. If you are trying to get right with God, how can you justify your sins? If you justify your sins, how can you change? How can you get better at serving God if you are saying no one is perfect or God knows my heart, so let me continue doing what is wrong? How can you change? The reason why you are not changing because you are not surrendering all to God. You are not trying to sacrifice everything. In order to serve God, you have to sacrifice everything. Everything you hold dear, everything you may like about yourself, you have to give everything over to God. You have to be willing to give up anything in order to serve God properly. You really have to. And some people don't want to change certain aspects of themselves. This is the reason why you are not able to change. Let's go to Matthew chapter 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Give me a second, please. So what is that saying? What is God's definition of perfection? Because I believe you are thinking, you are thinking about the earthly definition of perfection, which is like a person never ever doing anything wrong, like they are perfect. God's definition of perfection is not that. What is God's definition of perfection? Following repenting of your sins, then following God's rules and regulations. You are made perfect if you do that. Like myself, I did many bad things in the past. But ever since I repent of my sins and follow God's rules and regulation, that makes me perfect. Now, you may be over there saying, oh, whatever, Kevin, you know, you are not perfect. Hey, do I care about your opinion of what perfection is? Or do I care about God's definition of perfection? I would say God's. Stop justifying your sins. It is so silly. Stop it. You are only hurting yourself. You have to sacrifice everything. Everything that you may like doing, you may... You have to be willing to sacrifice it. This is the only way. Myself, I gave up, man, so many things in order to serve God. And I am still giving up things. I'm serious. Things I used to do for many years, many, many, many years, but I can't do those things any, anymore because I am trying to do right by God. I pray that this makes sense. You have to be willing to sacrifice anything and everything. If you are not willing to do so, this is why you continue to stay in sin and justifying your sins, believing that you are right with God or something and believe that you are going to heaven after death. God knows my heart, but I am smoking weed and drinking and having sex before marriage. Get out of here with that.
you are fooling yourself. If living for God was easy, more people would do it. But people are not willing to sacrifice. I don't have anything I don't have anything else but God. That's all I have. That's all I have. Yes, I may have, you know, a car and, and this and that, but the main thing, main and only thing, really is God. That's it. That is the way that you have to be as well if you are trying to excel in God. Because you can't be a persistent sinner and serve God at the same time. That is not going to work. That is not going to work, as you can see, because you are trying to do it and you can see that it is not working, right? I pray that this makes sense. My Lord, God bless.